Hello and welcome back to Chef Wannabe's Life. My name is Chris and today I'm going to share a method with you. It's not really a recipe. It's not a recipe because it comes out different every time. But I am just showing you an example of how I use up the things in my refrigerator and my freezer that need used before they go bad. We work hard for our money to pay for the ever more expensive food and why waste it? Why let it go to waste? You're throwing away money. Oh, it drives me bonkers when I see people just throw food away. But I had some celery that was going to go that I needed to use. It still has plenty left that I can use. I had, I found a little container of frozen beef gravy in my freezer. I found a little bag of corn. I found a half a bag of peas and carrots. And then I went to my pantry and pulled out a can of green beans, a can of diced tomatoes, and a can of tomato soup because these are things that I could add to just beef my soup up a little bit. I also had a three pound chub of hamburger that I needed to brown. It had been in my freezer for a little while and then I was going to just divide it up into three one pound packages to have for quick meals and I decided to put a pound of it into this soup. I love celery so I put as much celery as possible in everything. I drizzled a little bit of olive oil in my pan first just get that celery coated with your fat, let it let it start sizzling up in there. And of course, I decided I needed more. So this is just it it comes out different every time, but I promise every single time almost it ends up being vegetable soup for me, which is fine. And let me just tell you a little secret. If you have some marinara sauce or spaghetti sauce in your fridge, add it. It will be amazing. It will give you such amazing flavor. I added a little tomato soup because I like that it, it just gives a tiny bit of viscosity to the, to the broth. It's not quite super, super brothy, but... It's still, it's not like thick and creamy. So in goes the corn, the peas and carrots. I love peas and carrots. And then you're eventually going to add spices that you want to add. I even ended up using some of my homemade dried pizza seasoning, which I will link in an iCard for you. I can also link it in the description. This soup turns out, like I said, different every single time, which just makes it fun. And whatever you have left over of the soup, you can then, you know, freeze in single portions for your freezer to share with a friend. Whatever. Winter's coming. I don't ever have onions on hand because we don't really like onions in our house. So I did add onion flakes. Um, I added lots and lots of pepper, parsley, chives, garlic powder, and then of course the pizza seasoning. This soup is so hearty. It's so hearty and it just takes me right back to my childhood in Ord, Nebraska, and my mom would make this gigantor pot of vegetable soup because, of course, she canned everything and froze everything, green beans, corn, carrots, tomatoes. She had tomato sauce. She had whole tomatoes, tomato juice. So, you know, thinking back, you know, my mom and dad couldn't afford fertilizer or things like that for their garden. 
So we ate organic way back when, really. And that's pretty cool to think about now. Dude, that gravy does not look appetizing, and I'm so sorry for that, but man, it added great flavor. It warms up and melts down. Nobody's going to bite into a nasty, gelatinous piece of bleh, cold gravy. Doesn't that look beautiful and bright and delicious? If you have a potato or two that you want to throw in, that's great. I am not a huge lover of potatoes in soup, unless it's like actually potato soup. And it better have a hell of a lot of cheese on it. Mm-hmm. I hear something weird outside my window. Okay, it's gone. Anyway, so there went chives and parsley. I put parsley in everything. You guys, these little jars that my spices are in, <laughs> they were all candles at one point that I burned through from Dollar Tree. It was a certain company of or brand of candle that I loved and it actually smelled delicious. And once I went through a whole bunch of them, I thought, oh my gosh, I can make these into spice jars. Ding, ding, genius moment because I have my spices in a drawer. With my vision, it's far easier for me to see. You're going to give this a big stir. You're going to put the lid on it. And you're going to let it simmer for probably 20 to 30 minutes. Don't mind me stealing celery hunks or a big hunk of hamburger out of here, okay? We all know that you're not supposed to serve food to other people unless you've tasted it first. So if it's poison, you're the first one to die, I guess. It's just so bright and appetizing. If you wanted to add rice or pasta to this, I mean, you could, but why add in the extra carbs when you don't need them? I mean, unless you're trying to gain a whole bunch of weight, which is not anything that anybody has ever told me I needed to do, that's for sure. Really, you just do what you want to do. It's your soup. It's your kitchen. It's you and your family's taste. Make it like you like it. When I see this soup or any vegetable soup that I make, it takes me right back to my childhood where we would eat this with bread and butter or buttered saltine crackers. And it's just a super happy memory. So after you simmer this for 20 or 30 minutes, dive in, share it with a friend, share it with your family and enjoy your time together. And until we see each other again, as always, do not forget to eat good food. Thanks for joining me, guys. See you later.